Many films focus on protagonists and their relationships that carry a weight of significance. The importance of this in many films is to allow an element of the protagonist to become empathetic. Many audiences can appreciate that a character has a certain passion whether it's for another person, a certain career path or even an animal. This element of a protagonist offers an opportunity for the audience to reflect on their own passions. A beautiful example of this is Ken Loach's British realist classic, Kess. Billy Casper, a young teenager, has a cheeky personality. He saves sarcastic quips for his abusive older brother, Judd, reads the newspaper's comics during his job as a paperboy, and climb in the football goalposts, despite his teacher's demands not to. In terms of personality alone, Billy is endearing. However, he has very little in terms of opportunities. His career prospects outside of school seem very dim. Billy shares a bed with his older brother. One early morning, Judd forces Billy to wake up, intentionally provoking his younger brother by refusing to turn the bedroom light off. As he prepares for work at the local coal mine, Judd tells Billy that he needs to get used to waking up early, telling him that as soon as he leaves school, he will work down the coal mine with him. Billy rejects this. Judd is abusive, verbally and physically. Most interactions on screen between Billy and Judd end in hurled insults and Judd attacking his younger brother. Billy's mother is even a target of Judd's malice, able to stand her ground against his insults and arguing, but physically unable to stop him. This emphasises that, despite Billy's charming personality, he has plenty of stresses to deal with. The stresses of home life and the reminder of the very few career opportunities awaiting him. School is no escape from this pressure either. Billy faces antagonism from punishments for speaking during class, sleeping during an assembly, and even the bullying forces of his physical education teacher and other students. This aspect of Billy provides a sense of sympathy. We as viewers can understand the frustration this young lad must be facing, unable to change this scenario. Many viewers may have suffered at the hands of bullies themselves, a teacher's punishment such as detention or the rivalry between siblings. One morning, Billy discovers a kestrel nest hidden away within a ruined wall near a local farm. Growing fascinated by the birds, he steals a book from a second-hand bookshop on the subject of falconry. This suggests early signs of a developing passion for a unique, unconventional interest. Billy enthusiastically reads about them at home, and early the next morning, after Billy is woken up by a drunken Judd returning home, Judd waking up Billy to help him undress for bed, he runs out of the home and climbs the ruinous wall to snatch a kestrel to take home, keeping it in the shed in his backyard. He names the bird Kess. The calm of falconry and time spent with Kess watching or feeding her contrasts with the stresses of school and home life for Billy. It provides a release. Billy's narration as he trains Kess suggests that he is learning all he can about the bird, putting what he learns from his book into practice. This emphasises the potential for an opportunity. Billy is a natural at training Kess and is developing a thorough understanding of the bird. It is later revealed in the film that Billy has had had positive experiences with other animals too during a conversation with his teacher within the shed, further reinforcing Billy's sense of passion and respect for the falcon. Billy engages his classroom and even his teacher when he comes to the front of the class to speak about his relationship with Kess with such enthusiasm, telling them the first time he tried free flying with Kess and succeeded, showing that his training was effective. He speaks with such enthusiasm that implies how much significant Billy places on this kestrel falcon. Even his teacher, fascinated after Billy's engaging speech in class, watches Billy with his kestrel falcon in the field, admiring the clear skill of the young lad. Billy states that very few seem to respect the birds as their own personality, suggesting it's not a pet and cannot be controlled, but that it is a free animal, no matter what. This establishes the bird with a personality of its own, and implies that both Billy and Kess have a clear, mutual respect of one another. With this relationship between the two thoroughly detailed within the film, the audience can empathise with the weight of this relationship as the possibility for Billy to become a trainer in the future, having self-taught these skills. His career prospects outside of school no longer seem so dim. This is clearly a very significant aspect of Billy's life now. Towards the film's conclusion, Billy is told via a letter to bet on two horses taking part in an upcoming race with Judd's money. However, Billy is later 
told by a local bucky that one of the horses is not a good bet. Billy decides to use Judd's money to buy fish and chips, but when Judd discovers this after both horses do well within the race, he is furious, attempting to find Billy at school. To no success, Judd targets Billy indirectly through Kess. Judd kills Kess. Upon discovering what Judd has done, Billy is devastated, expressing his anger and frustration towards his brother before leaving the house, making a small burial for Kess. With Kess gone, so goes Billy's chances, opportunities and his passion for falconry. The audience's sense of sympathy and compassion is intended to reach a boiling point. With the loss of Kess, Billy loses the opportunity he had to pursue falconry. He loses his motivation and he is pushed beyond his limit with the pressure at home. With this film, Ken Loach effectively develops a character's value to the audience. We sympathise and feel Billy's pain. We understand the importance of Kess to him and what this loss means. In conclusion, many films develop their characters to have an element that can be empathised. For Kess's protagonist, Billy Casper, the empathy is gathered as the audience comes to understand the bleak prospects that await him outside of school. His one and only form of escape is taken from him, crushing his hopes. The importance of developing a character and the relationship the character is involved with for empathy allows that character to become more relatable and engaging. The audience is more willing to follow a character they find some form of personal reflection in, or a character they understand is following a certain path due to the pressures they face. Ken Loach's film is a masterful example of such a character. 